Alrighty, welcome to another edition of the All Go Podcast. I'm your host Desmond. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Uh, before we get going, you can see my my gear that I'm rocking. The, the Gritty Moguls. They are a company based out of Detroit. Uh, have men's apparel, men's gear, uh, sweatshirts. They actually have uh, bags as well, watches. Uh, a lot of cool gear, and they're repping Detroit. So. Uh, gotta gotta show love for the uh, the hometown company. So, uh, want to talk today about Joel Embiid and if this is the year that the process comes to fruition. Um, Joel Embiid is having a monster season. I think he's averaging like 30 points, uh, 11 boards, and three and a half assists, and uh, is absolutely dominating the Eastern Conference which is very good. I, I think he is a matchup nightmare uh, because of his size. Um, he's got good feet. He can shoot the three ball, which is very unique for a guy his size. Um, but he does all this very well. I think he's right now uh, is in the 50-40-90 club, which is pretty incredible. Um, I think of all the, the, the guys in the NBA, there hasn't been many that have done that, uh, I believe. Steph Curry, I think KD are two guys who are, are in the club and have done uh, done that. So it's it's pretty impressive what he's uh, what he's doing. So we'll see what uh, see what happens. Um, my biggest concerns with Joel Embiid are more so just his lack of understanding of how important physical fitness is and how important it is to eat uh, well when you are the size that you are and you're an NBA player. I mean, they have a very, very, very long season. And, uh, you know, if you're not taking your your conditioning seriously and if you're not taking your, your diet and what you eat seriously, um, you're bound to break down. And I think, the to me, the proof that he has not done that is, number one, how he looks. He looks out of shape. He looks a little too pudgy, a little too soft for me. Um, and I, I think that's something that uh, – He's got to take serious if he's going to get to that level of being able to dominate for another. I mean, they just had the, the all-star break. So you're probably looking at another 50 or so games by the time, you know, you get to the NBA finals. So, you know, it's 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 uh, it's something that he's going to have to take serious. And it's unfortunate because it's not anything that he can prove. Right. So he can't prove now that he's in great shape or, or doing the right things. Um, to where he can last a full season until he actually does it and lasts a full season. So he's, it's something that he won't be able to prove yet. But I think, I think part of that is the maturity from him. Um, and I, I think that's something that he lacks. And that's obviously just outside looking in. It's clear that he enjoys playing basketball and loves it and has a good time with it. And I love that. Um, that that's something that uh, he should do. But I think to me... When they, when Philly lost that uh, series to Toronto on Kawhi's last second shot, you know, everyone was talking about Joel Embiid and how he was, you know, crying after the game because he wanted to win the game and thought they were going to win. And, you know, there were reports that, you know, he made the, the picture of himself crying was his like Twitter avatar or the lock screen on his phone or something like that. And that, you know, he was going to use that as motivation for the next year. And to me, I mean, you came back and you were the exactly the same guy. You were out of shape. You didn't look great. Didn't take care of yourself. You had to miss time. Um, you know, that next season of, of in the playoffs, I mean, you were, you know, having all these stomach issues and problems of, you know, he's got like some kind of bug going on where he was texting his coach at, you know, five, six in the morning. Talking about he might not be able to play in the game that night. Like, I just, I, I just don't understand it. Um, to be a guy that that's ta that's that talented that you don't take that stuff serious. I mean, that's something that is 100% in your control. Like I, I can't control that I'm not seven feet tall, right? But I can control being in great shape. I can control what I eat. And you know, when you have the the resources and the contract that he does, you can eat literally whatever you want. You could have if you wanted to go whatever full vegan, vegetarian, whatever. Eat clean, whole thirty. Like, Joel Embiid's got the resources to do whatever he wants. So, to me, that part's kind of disappointing. But if he can continue just this tear that he's on, 
through the playoffs, I, Philly will be a, a tough out. I think that uh, that they need to make sure that um, once they get with the Nets, um, they're, they're, that offense has got to go through Joel Embiid because Nets don't have anybody who can match up with them. But uh, we'll see what happens. But maybe the process will, will come to fruition. So that's another episode. See you all later.